I was hoping to find, uh, while searching the answers in the health and wellness and nutrition space, and I spent many years and not found the answer until I accidentally stumbled upon, um, upon 90% of the, the power source when it comes to you know, health and vitality for the rest of your life. So uh, I'm, I'm going to dive into that. So um, let, me, let me go into, so this is, So this is, so this was uh, my before and after, but um, in fact I had much worse pictures, it's just as I mentioned to you, I actually destroyed all my pictures because of how ashamed I was. Um, I never wanted anyone to ever see those pictures, so I, I just ended up destroying them. The only reason I last said this one is because my son is little and he's here, so that's the only reason why I kept it. But um, yeah, so that's my before and after. Um, as before I was even 20 years old, I hit rock bottom. And um, if you're in a place of, of pain, and um, I want you to know that when you hit rock bottom, sometimes it's your greatest escape. Because we women are very resilient, and we can carry on uh, dealing with a lot of pain, discomfort, and a lot of challenges, but there comes a point where like, you can't keep going anymore. And sometimes that is your greatest escape, because you're like, I have to take massive action, otherwise, I'm just, just going to die. So that was me at, at the age, age of 19. I lost, I lost my, my brother. He died unexpectedly in a plane crash. And, and I felt the very serious that my stomach turned. I wouldn't even know what was wrong with me. I had such severe pain, double pain. They put me on painkillers, gave me antibiotics, and told me to see a therapist. So I did all these things to very quickly discover that the medication only made me feel worse than my illness itself. And the mind therapy also made my illness worse. And if you're, if you're someone who's tried my therapy to heal trauma or deal with grief or uh, whatever it is you went through and it didn't help, here's what I learned. I learned that it didn't help me because the more I talked about it, the more I relived it, and then I was strengthening those neural pathways of the trauma in my body and creating a stronger and stronger experience of it. So um, very quickly, I learned that that's not going to help me because I was uh, living on campus at the time in a dorm uh, in university or college if you're in the States. And I remember like lying on the floor, crying, being in so much pain in, in like my little room. And I'm like, I'm like, I can't go on like this. So um, that night, I made myself a promise that I would reveal a better me than I ever was. Because I knew that if I keep taking the medication and keep going to see, seeing a therapist, I'm literally going to die. Like, that's how bad it was. So I promised I would build a better me than I ever was, but I didn't even know how I'm going to do that because I didn't even have a computer at the time. So I was very optimistic, but I, didn't, I wasn't really concerned. Um, and then from my greatest despair, there was, um, I don't know, some, some, some voice, some reason that, um, that I heard, and that voice said it could just rebuild a stronger body, it could rebuild a stronger mind, and you could be whole again. So that was my only hope. My only hope was to follow that voice, because I was alone, I didn't know anybody, I learned that talking to people about my problems only made it worse, and I could only rely on myself to fix me and reveal my world and um, create a life I deserve. So from that day, I became obsessed with training. I started going to the gym, I took everything I could, whether it was yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, Qigong, martial arts, uh, dance, whatever I could, I took. And um, I liked it because I didn't have to talk to anybody. It was, it was just, just it was just me, my heartbeat, my breath, and, and just rebuilding myself one, one little particle, particle at a time. time. So, so that's when that session began. began. I never started training because I wanted that I wanted, wanted, that, survive, I wanted that bikini contest, contest or, or I wanted, I wanted to be a hot girl. girl. No, no, I just it was a means of survival. It was a form of self development. It's the only hope that I had at the time. And, and it was a very lonely, lonely journey. journey. So, um, so, um, so that's, that's when um, that's, that's when, when my dedication and my obsession with training again. And then, and then the, the next thing I really have to figure out and fast is what, what am I going to eat? Because with, with such, such severe um, pain in my, my stomach, stomach um, I, couldn't I couldn't sleep, sleep I couldn't eat, and, and you know, I can only go on for so long without being able to eat or sleep. So I had to be very selective on what I was putting in my body. So I'll say to you, I'm trying to find answers to my 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 pain and here's my body and I became obsessed with everything I could learn about health and nutrition and wellness. And um, because not only did I have the pain and trauma, I had a lot of other 
health conditions. Um, and then, you know, he wanted me to be experiencing as well. I had uh, very serious gut health issues. Um, I had um, I had brain, brain fog, I had chronic fatigue, I was an absolute hormonal chaos of being, being a birth control, 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 control pills, and, and, and um, um, my, my skin was breaking out. out. I had, I had, I had so, so many things wrong, wrong with me, so, so I had to find answers. And so, and so uh, in the years, I started, I started going to some of the biggest health shows. shows. Um, I started even going to some of the biggest trade shows that feature the latest and greatest supplements. And I've dedicated years of my life to finding the answer in a supplement from like the other side of the world, maybe some exotic superfood that once I lay my hands on it, I will take it in a form of a capsule or a powder. I will put that in my smoothie, I'll drink it, and the next morning I'll wake up living happily ever after, forever young, and it'll give me a lot of mentality. But I really believe, I really follow the experts and the gurus. They were always talking about the latest supplement, and um, I went to these trade shows and came back with massive bags on both arms, um, trying everything I could. For years of my life, I must have eaten more supplements than food. I've eaten more pounds of spirulina and chlorella than I think anyone I've heard. I'm surprised that I've not turned green. Um, but what I did find is that the more supplements I ate, and I've spent so much money on all these supplements, because I was I was desperate. I was obsessed by the answers, and I really believed. I believed the experts. I believed the gurus. Like, I followed them widely. I followed them so widely that I followed what they said more than what my body was telling me. And eventually, I ran my health down to a very low point. I ran it down so bad that my hair was falling out at an alarming rate. My teeth were filling with cavities. My skin was the worst it's ever been. Not only that, I had breakouts. I also had eczema around my eyes and around my neck. It made me look like I was 90 years old. Um, I, I was so tired all the time. I had such severe candida. Um, and, um, you know, my hormones, my periods were all over the place. Um, I didn't even leave the house, house. I was actually really depressed. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just making my long story, story short here. here. So, so um, I, I, read, I, 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 there was a point where I woke up, up from, from that illusion that, that the supplements would save me. The, the moment that I found out that also one of the founders for the one of the biggest algae companies actually died from lead poisoning that was in the algae. So, if you're someone who's consuming a lot of supplements, a lot of times we're, we're sold, sold the benefits, benefits but there is so much toxicity in the supplements and the manufacturing process, and there's so many fillers, and there's so many, and so many things that are not on the label that you should, you should be really concerned. concerned. And, and I discovered that life feeds life. life. Life has the intelligence to be life. life. And, and things in a powder or a capsule that have been processed, and they don't really maintain the integrity of the original food in its living form. You know, you know that, that, that all the claims are usually made on. on. So, so that was a painful, painful process, process because, because I literally lost, lost almost my whole hair and my, my sanity, sanity uh, uh, discovering this painful uh, uh, lesson. Uh, uh, but, but I'm really grateful because if I wasn't, if I wasn't in this rock bottom again, again, I would have made some of my greatest discoveries in the space of like, um, and in the space of nutrition and wellness. And finally, I learned how to rebuild my gut health and balance my hormones and get myself back again and stop my hair loss and regrow like my, my hair, hair, you know, be healthy, healthy again, again clear, clear my skin, skin I reversed reverse cavities, cavities um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was amazing, amazing because I stopped listening to the experts and I started listening to my body. So, so that, that was that was amazing, amazing. And, and I, I, I literally trashed all, all, most all, all of my supplements in my kitchen and, and um, made room for food. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so that was a really powerful lesson. But I had that promise I made myself that I would be a better man than I ever was. And that, and that wasn't, wasn't so much a better me. Now, now, now I wasn't falling apart. I wasn't dying, but I wasn't like this amazing, super hero version of myself. I was just okay. So, um, but I was really disappointed myself. And I'm like, is that is that all I got after so many years of making that promise to myself, traveling to like all the health shows and trade shows? In fact, I brought my older son with me. Um, I was so obsessed that I was like, I was teaching my kids all this stuff, and my older son, at nine years old, he was like, became this world-renowned activist, like they, they put him in the media everywhere, they gave him a talk, 
um, in, order in order to get, to get there. there. So, so um, typically consortiums and some people start training from a very early age, but um, what I did is I had to abandon, I had to develop completely different training methods, so very different techniques in order to open up my spine that way and a very different approach to training that is not like anything um, I've ever learned in anything traditional. So not yoga, not Pilates, not martial arts, not Tai Chi, not Qigong, not weight training, not high intensity, not that. So if you're used to the traditional, um, you know, the pushing and resisting and controlling and forcing, um, when I apply that, I was like, this is, this is not, not going to work because I'm just going to break in half. half. So, so it's when I use a very different approach where I have to learn how to relax and let go and melt into it and completely surrender that I was able to progress very quickly. And that is a very powerful mind shift. Now that shift in mindset that I teach um, all my students throughout our training is something that has helped so many women um, turn their constant fight or flight mode which is the root cause of a lot of your um a lot of your problems uh the fight or flight mode and constant stress uh, that's, that's like the number, number one killer. That's the number one contributor to uh, illness. That's, that's the number one contributor to accelerated aging. So if we can learn how to get ourselves out of this constant stress, anxiety, fight or flight mode, and cultivate this inner calm, and finally get to a place where we are at a state of self-mastery, then ultimately that is the answer to us experiencing completely different health, completely different mind, and creating completely different life. Because once you master that in your body work, you'll bring that into every area of your life. So these are some of the things that I've learned. Um, <coughs> everything that I'm sharing with you tonight or this morning here in Australia are things that I learned from my experiences. They're not things that I like just read and I'm rehearsing things that because I read a lot of books. No, no, I learned, learned this from, from my own uh, journey into my spine, bending that far, and then working with um, countless women from around the world, and uh, I'll share a few of their stories. In fact, I have two of my my um, my best students right here right now, Carla and Sharon, and they'll share their, a little bit of their journey with you, and then I'll, I'll share a few more at that time. But, um, yeah, so... so this is like one of the biggest answers to healing is to be able to shut down this fight or flight mode, stress, anxiety, and cultivate this inner calm. And when you do that, like I said, you bring that into your relationship, you bring that into your business, you bring that into wherever you go. And and that and you become invincible and you become unshakable. Instead of other people drawing you into their chaos, you're going to magnetize people into your calm. Um, so, so that, 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 that to me, the, the process, process of self mastery was a high form of self development, which is why I started training. training. It, was it was never, never you know, the splits is nice, the, the contortionism is great, but it was never about that. that. It, was it was like, like how, how do I overcome all the mental nonsense and all the conditioning that I've had in me ever since, and how do I? Clear, clear myself, myself of all the traumas and all, and all the pain and all the, and all the things that are holding me back. back. How does, How does it feel like, like to be completely free of all this and, and, and to be limitless? Ultimately, ultimately that's, 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 that's the goal. goal. And, and so, so that, that is the journey. journey. It was never about just the, but, 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 but the splits, splits and um, um, the flexibility um, is far superior training this way than any traditional method. I mean, I mean Carla's, Carla's going to show you, she, uh, she, uh, she uh, achieved the over split with me, I don't know, in like four, four months, months on like three blocks, and I had a 73-year-old student that I brought to the first split ever, at 73 years old, and this woman has done already everything that um, she could in her life, like yoga, Pilates, she never thought she was capable of any of these things. Um, let me, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words, let me just find her. Um, I don't know where that picture is, but I do, I do know, but it's not showing me. Okay, okay yeah, anyways, I'll have to find it later. later. Um, I will have a lot of pictures for you. That next phase of flexibility is um, that's available to you at any point in your life. It's incredible. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't know why. It just vanished. Uh, I, don't, I don't see it. But anyways. So, um, so after, after that, that happened, 
when I achieved a certain level of flexibility with my spine, I had what I call the um, the limitless experience, which is like every neuron firing and every cell lighting up, and it literally felt like there was a, a dam, this massive gate and a dam that was closed all the years of my life. Someone finally lifted it up, and there was this immense flood of energy just like flooding through my body. That's what it felt, and I couldn't believe what happened to me, considering I spent already so many years in health and wellness and tried every supplement and biohack and all the stuff, and, um, and I've never experienced anything that came to a fraction of that feeling after jabbing into my spine, so I was just like, what, what was that? And I had to find answers. Um, so I had a little burst of creativity. I grabbed my phone and started writing endlessly. I started sharing little bits and pieces online. And very quickly, people start messaging me like, hey, can you teach me this? Or can I learn more like on your website or like a channel? And I had nothing. I was like, what, what website, what channel? I didn't know I had anything. So, um, um, and, then and then I, I was, was obsessed to find an explanation to why I was feeling the way I was feeling because I literally like my brain just lit up, up and every part of me lit up. And um, interestingly enough, I stumbled upon the work of a Nobel Prize winner that a few decades ago discovered that 90% of the nutrition and stimulation to the brain is generated by the movement of the spine. Now, you want to write this down because it's one of the most powerful discoveries that is going to revolutionize how you think about your brain, how you think about your mental performance, how you think about your cognitive abilities um, from this point on for the rest of your life. So 90% of the nutrition and stimulation to the brain is generated by the movement of the spine. So I realized at that point that I asked myself, does that mean that my entire life up until now, I was focusing on a 10%? No wonder I was asleep. Mm -hmm. No wonder. no wonder. So when I discovered that, I see the more that start sharing more and more. And um, I have to say, I, I did have, I didn't want to start working with people. Because number one, I thought, what if you know you think for easy one that this, this happened to you and it's not real? Okay. But then it would happen every time I dive into my spine, I would experience these like, um, these highs. And it was like lasting all day. And it was the like, constant. And it was like, that was the new me. It wasn't like the runner's high, like a few minutes and then it's gone. It was like, boom, like, like someone turned on the lights, and, and the light, lights weren't switching, switching off. So, so uh, that was my new life. And uh, I started sharing more, but I thought to myself, well, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it's not going to work for other people. And then I said, well, if it does work for other people, likely they'll have to get into contortional flexibility, which is also going to be unachievable. So am I not not to anyone? What is the likelihood that someone else is going to experience something like I did? So, so I was very reluctant, but after so many messages, I thought, what if there's just a 1% chance that, that, that someone's, someone's going to benefit from it? From it? So, so, um, so, so I said, okay. okay. So, so I started teaching, and, and to my surprise, I found out that whether I was working with a 29-year-old Broadway ballerina, or whether I was working um, with a 73-year-old granny, literally, within, within the first week, week or two, two of them just doing the very basic spinal awakening fundamentals, which, which is our very, very beginners routine for the spine, for the spine. They, they all had major, major breakthroughs. breakthroughs. Um, I, have I have a community right here, right here on Telegram. Telegram. This is our community. Right here, right here we currently have, have 649 members. members. So, so today, uh, one, one of the women shared, shared with us this, this woman had, had uh, she was in a car accident in 2006. Right here. right here, this, this right, here. right here. She was, she was in an accident in 2006, 2006 and she, she has been seeking for help from experts since, experts since then. then. And, and uh, a, lot a lot of times she have to resort to painkillers because the pain was so severe. And, and after two weeks, weeks of joining, joining the program, program this, pain this pain is gone. gone. So, so next, next thing, thing is resolving her sciatica, which we're, we're going to do. So, so two, two weeks. weeks. Since, since 2006. 2006. I have many stories like that. I have 32 years of scoliosis. A woman was trying to resolve it, uh, seeing, you know, experts and chiropractors that weren't able to. I have a woman that could barely walk up the stairs for two weeks of spinal awake on fundamentals. Finally, she showed us a green dog while she was running around the playground and chasing grandkids. Um, I've had women that uh, had to quit their job because their sciatica was so severe they couldn't walk for more than half an hour after doing the spinal awake fundamentals. Um, and then coming into a few classes, quitting for a whole year, just doing spinal awake fundamentals, like a 10 minute 
coaching for a couple of years, say I can never return once. Um, I have women able to resolve insomnia, I have women that are able to flush their painkillers down the toilet, I have women that release so much trauma, I have women um, that are able to have intercourse after not being able to have it because they had hysterectomy or endometriosis, but that took longer, that wasn't in two weeks, uh, typically, but um, the stories are crazy. I don't know if you guys have watched the testimonials, but I have plenty of testimonials and new ones that are constantly coming on. Um, actually, I'm going to ask you throughout the meeting if you can actually post in the chat what are some of the top things that you want to resolve. Um, I know there's some things on your list that are urgent, that are pressing, so I'd say chronic pain is definitely top of the list. Uh, trauma release is on top of the list. Getting your sexy back, you know, is an extra bonus, but I definitely help women in that area. Um, all the way to experiencing next level orgasms, even if they've gone through major trauma. So I'm going to I'm gonna cover all that. Um, Growing 10 years younger, those are all things that can happen for you, that have happened for me, for Sharon, for Carla, and many others. Um, just, yeah, you can just add that in the chat. Like, like we're all women here, there's really no need to be ashamed of anything. Um, you know, I've spent years of my life not talking about my, my most vulnerable moments, the things I was most ashamed about, like my greatest pains. And I start talking about it because I'm human and I knew this would help somebody. So don't be ashamed, we're all here to. Um, um, resolve something. something. So, um, um, yeah. yeah. And I'll we'll look through it, it um, later on. We'll talk, talk. We'll, um, we'll, we'll Carla, Carla and Sharon share their story and I'll we'll, um, address some of these things the best I can. So, um, so that's, so that's how I learned. That's, that's, that's what back up coming. coming. And the amazing thing is, remember, I mentioned to you that, um, so, so I, I, I achieved consortialism, I was self guided, and then I built this variety business, and a lot of people told me this would never work, but I knew I was on a mission because I knew that, um, I was on to the real deal that a lot of people are going to benefit and heal, so I had to. Uh, so um, the crazy thing is, since then, I've worked with some of the most amazing women from around the world. I've worked with doctors and PhDs and university professors and wellness experts and TV personnel and millionaire coaches and lifelong yoga, Pilates, fitness, uh, trainers, teachers, um, all the way to Broadway ballerinas, to healers. Uh, I don't know, the list goes on. My favorite people of all are just the, the, the women that come from a place of just being broken, unknown, and, um, and, and, they, and the verge of losing hope, and then they completely turn their life around and become here as the source of inspiration for many other women. Why? Because that was once me. So um, it is a crazy story. And I had no idea that this work would also have such a profound effect on female sexuality and help women gain their sexual identity. In fact, early January, for those of you who are going to Join um, um, the training. Early, early January, 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 we have an event called, called Reclaim Your Sexual Vitality and Step Into Your Womanly Power. And I'm going to have some of my, my most, most amazing success stories featured there from my students. Um, um, we actually have, uh, uh, in our community, one of my students is actually um, a sexologist, so she's going to bring a lot of her expertise. And I guarantee you, some of the conversations we're going to have there, uh, the openness, the vulnerability, the no shame, uh, it's going to change how you feel about yourself, your sexuality, and it's going to change how you navigate your relationships in the bedroom for the rest of your life. So that's going to be a beautiful thing um, if we end up taking on this journey together. Um, so um, that's kind of that's kind of how I got to do what I do, and then by looking with more and more women, I started really understanding what are some of the biggest problems that women are experiencing, because um, apparently I wasn't the only crazy one, I wasn't the only one who went through trauma and pain and all these things, and gut health issues and hormonal imbalances and didn't like my body and didn't have good, you know, um, intimacy. A lot of women are in this bad place, so I learned how to help them and created a very strong, holistic, multidimensional approach with a beautiful community of love and support that's like that's like that's, that's gonna be your new family when you come in. I have women that are actually traveling to meet each other in person. That's how beautiful the connections that we've established and um, my team and I promised everyone that this year we're actually gonna have a live event. So um, those are just some of the things that are happening within our space and that's why I show up here because um, it's not an automated program. Here here are your videos and whether you've done it or not I don't really care and buy here and bye bye there. Like it's like no no, no, this, this is, is like, like, like your journey is our journey. That's why we can't work with everybody who wants to do. It's like, 
case for life. For life. But, but that's why all my women are like, like you know, you know this, this is a long method for life. Once you do this, why would you want to do anything else? Our training is more effective.